Hello, hello. To you, it's such a wonderful Saturday. I am excited to be in the building on this day. It is That's What's Up with Jacosta on 108 Praise Radio, where we're always voicing the gospel. And I want to give you a small little nugget to give you a little bit of understanding before I bring in my absolutely amazing guest. Let's talk about competition right now, okay? That's where I want to go with this. I Last year, top of the year, I started this whole competition thing because I felt like women did not understand that you don't have to blow out that light for someone else to shine. You know what I mean? For you to come up and shine through, you don't have to blow out anybody's light nor dim their light. Like You don't have to do anything but worry about you. So this is what I want to start out my Saturday with on this wonderful February 17th. What I want to say to you is this. You need to learn how to take your mirror uh huh, and make it your own competition. What do you mean by that, Jocasta? I mean that it's what you look at every day is who you should compete with. The person in the mirror is the person you compete with. You do not compete with the person next to you, nor the person to your right, nor the person in front of behind you. You just do not compete with other people. If you can become the best you that you ever want to be in this entire world, then we know right there you have made a difference. God is not looking and checking for the Jocasta inside of the Becky. Okay, because there's not going to be a Jocasta inside of the Becky. Becky's who she is and I am who I am. God did not make me into the Courtney. He made me into the Jocasta. So why am I over there trying to be the best that person that I can be? Huh? Does that even make sense? No, it does not. Now, with that being said, I've found my way. What does that mean? I found my way to my happiness. My happiness is that I can only, only be great within myself. Okay. I can't be great within others. That is the issue. Ladies, Am I talking to men? Some, yeah, maybe, but mostly I find my sisters, they always are trying to compete with each other. Not realizing that the best competition is to be better than your yesterday. I can only be better than my 2017 in order for my 2018 to reign. Okay, come on somebody. I can only be better than who I was in 2014 in order for me to reach greatness in 2018. Okay, so my April of 2017 might have been a little blurry, but the one this year will be absolutely great. Who are you competing with today, huh? Who are you saying you can be better than, huh? Because I'm telling you, it is not who your mom used to be or how grandma used to act or how anybody in your family is. It's only you. So I encourage you on this day and on every day to compete with self because self-competition is the best. With that being said, I love having women on my platform because I am not sitting here trying to compete with anybody. I want people to see them. So if I have a fan base, hmm, and I am not into the same thing that the next woman is into, why would I just say, well, I don't want her on my show because she might steal my light. Lies. She got her own light and it shines bright like a diamond. <laughs> So today, my diamond, who has her own light, who shines great, oh my gosh, and oh, if my body could, Father God, mm. <laughs> it'd be, be two centers good. I have Leticia Gardner yes. on my show, and you guys know her as Chi Chi. Oh my gosh, she is fit and fabulous. She is fine for everybody and uh, <laughs> finer than wine, okay? Her family is amazing and she doesn't claim to just be Jesus. What do I mean by that? I mean that she understands that she shows you guys the real. Oh, we go through. She shows you that. She shows you that, okay, things aren't perfect. No. She shows you that life is what it is, but she makes it great because she has God by her side. Mm -hmm. And she has her husband, and she has her beautiful children, and she is making it work. Every day. Welcome! Thank you, thank Yay! You. 
this. <laughs> Everybody, this is a this was a battle to make this happen. But it happened. But it I happened. love that it happened. Yes, yes. You yes. ready to have some fun? I'm ready. Let's go. Let's get into it. Tell the people about you because here's the fascinating part. Wait, I want to say this okay, first. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Everybody knows that I set out because I was like, I'm going to be a doctor. That's what I was, boom. Was like, like, that was me. Okay. Okay. So here it is. I have my biology degree. I have my minor in chemistry. Like, I have all of these things going. And then I'm like, eh, pump the brakes. Don't really not, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> I don't really want that stress. I do, just don't. I'm sitting next to this wonderful woman. <laughs> And she was setting out to be a lawyer. Yeah, I was starting, I wanted to study law. And I did it for a while and I was like, mm. I even got a, a great job at a um, at a law firm. Super amazing law firm. Shout out to SSF. Um, but <laughs> yeah, no, it didn't work out for me. You know, I'm big on family. I think anyone that follows me knows that. And, um, you know, the hours that it demands to mm -hmm. be at a nine to five plus, it's never just a nine to five. It was too much on the family. I have mm -hmm. young kids, you know, my oldest is 12. She's a cheerleader, that schedule. I just felt like I wasn't there on top of the responsibility that it takes as a wife and as a mom, mm -hmm. just period. It was like, I got to find my own way. I got to find where I asked God, you know, I prayed on it and I fasted and I asked him to give me vision on what I can do to bring in income, but mm -hmm. also be there for my family. Like I felt I was called to be. And as ah. a mom, of course, he called us to be. And it just came to me. It was just like, boom. And I've just been on this journey ever since. Really? Yeah. A lawyer and now fitness guru. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> a lawyer and now you're a fitness guru. Yeah, because growing up, I loved to debate. I loved to argue. Like, I was like, my mouth was slick. So I was like, I had great comebacks every time. So I was like, I can use that in court. But, you know, it's really not like that for real. Okay. Just in the movies. So I was like, well, this isn't fun. <laughs> I want to do something else. So you realize, hey, you know what? I think I can put this to a test somewhere else. Yes, yes. And I've always worked out. I've always, like, worked out my girlfriends or whatever the case may be. You know, my husband's a retired athlete. So, you know, we've just been doing it forever mm -hmm. anyway. So it just came natural that it's like, hey, let's get paid off of this. <laughs> let's get these coins from this. <laughs> so look, okay, it was a collective, like, agreement between you and your husband let's do this fitness thing or did he start saying oh baby yeah this is what i want to do um well he's not into fitness he doesn't do fitness he just looks like that he does my plan so i keep him looking like that. look at that but he does not he's not a trainer he is not into the fitness thing he's 100 percent supports what i do and mm -hmm. we always have worked out together and enjoyed that it's always been our time so um so no, when I decided it, I actually had started my meal prep business at first. So I was cooking, I was doing meal prepping while working at the law firm. Okay. That was like, whew, A lot. extremely overwhelming. Mm -hmm. But then um, I actually just stopped my meal prepping beginning of this year and I'm just focusing on everything online now. Cause I'm Good. trying to work smarter instead of harder. harder. <laughs> but um, but no, he backed me up 100%. He believed in me from the beginning. He supported me, so. And that's what I wanted them to hear. Yeah. Because there are a lot of women out there and they have these dreams and aspirations mm -hmm. and no support. So yeah. I wanted someone out there to hear you say, no, 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 no. no. Uh-uh. That's not his thing. He follows my meal prep. Yeah. He, But he's supportive of his wife. No, he is very supportive. You know, he's, um, he's big in the church as well. I think when you have that foundation together, mm -hmm. he trusts that. He knows I'm not just going to make a spare the moment kind of decision and just say, hey, I'm just going off on a whim. You know, he knows um, whatever I'm going to do, I'm going to do what's best for our family. So he trusts that. And with, like I said, I prayed and I fasted on it so he knows I wasn't taking it lightly or just jumping out there See? so us both learning to not trust ourselves but trust God's vision for us was was our way anyways you pray and you fasted it. before you leaped that's it every time I got, I got patience and and I know God is always working with me in patience because mm -hmm. I'd be ready to like come on I need it now you know so <laughs> he's always just like nope just wait on it just wait on it but boy he's so good when you he wait is. on him and you wait on God oh and he does it every time. Oh, okay, I'm full. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. A supportive husband. Mm -hmm. A woman with a plan. Mm -hmm. Started out with the meal plan, but oh. totally a woman <laughs> with a plan. Yeah. A mother. 
So now you're telling, so this is me going down this timeline. Mm-hmm. Your husband's supportive. You said, I need to be there for my family. Yeah. So are you able to just say, oh, okay, no, I'm meeting everything. I'm everywhere with my girls. Like you're Absolutely. See? Everywhere. And before see? it was hard because my husband, you know, he supported me. I um, wanted to go to school and, and get a job at the time. And, you know, I was just changing my life because for a long time, you know, I didn't know where I wanted to be okay. or who I was. I was just really getting into Christ probably about four or five years back mm-hmm. and really getting into that relationship. And I, for so long, I wasn't in a position to... Um, to figure out who I was. I was a single mom at the time, so I was working a couple of jobs. I just felt like all I had to do was provide. That was all Mm -hmm. I could do. But getting married and being in a position where having a supportive husband and having a financial back support now Mm -hmm. gave me the opportunity to be like, who are you? Like, take that time for a minute because my husband used to always tell me, he's like, there's so much more to you than you know, you know, that I was able to see See the time. And I was like, I'm not hiding no gifts. I I don't know, what else do I have? Like, I don't know. But getting into prayer and doing that, um, I did. So when I started working at the law firm, it was a lot on him because he had to take the baby to school because it was downtown and we're all the way in Gwinnett. So that was almost a two-hour drive every day because of traffic. And then he'd have to get them from school. And, you know, it just, it was a lot on him to do. And I was missing all kinds of stuff. I felt Aww. it broke my heart one day that I went to go pick up um, Layla from school. I had made it early and... Um, they were like, oh, what a surprise. You're Layla's mom. Okay. Like, they didn't oh. know me. It broke my heart. I was like, I can't do it anymore. Wait a minute, girl. Wait, 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 wait. And she had just started school. I they said, it. oh, it's a surprise. Yeah. Going to work and school. You were a figment um, to everybody's imagination, except your baby knew you right. existed. <laughs> And it, it only lasted about six months. I was I had started working, but after that time, I was like, I can't do it. Like it hurt my heart too much. Like I couldn't. I... Yeah. Just because now I get to see my boys all day, every day, whenever I want to pop in and see them. Mm-hmm. So I know how that feels. Yes. You know and. Love. If they would have said, oh, but one day they said that to me at like Cub Scouts uh, and I was like, no, she said, well, yeah, I know. I'm just saying you used to come all the time. And I said, yeah, I always came. And then I kept saying the boys would run to me to do things mm-hmm. as opposed to running to dad. Right. And I said, mm, need to cut that yeah. because this is Cub Scouts where boys are interacting with their fathers, yeah, you know? Yeah. And I felt like I was putting, like I was placing myself there and the boys would just be like, oh, mommy can do it. yeah. And it was just like, well, no, 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 no. You guys, that's your bonding. Yeah. So I pulled myself out of it. And when I went and I, the lady said, well, we rarely see you, you know? And I'm like, I get it. But then I don't get it because yeah. I feel like Boy Scouts, Cub Scouts, that's a guy thing. And I should come on camping trips every once in a while and things like that. But other things, I feel like, you know, I look around the room and I see all these women in here with the boys. Yeah. And that's kind of what's wrong to me in this world. And they have a dad. So yeah, well, my husband's you know. amazing. I, I definitely can't complain there. He, he goes gets he we go get our nails done together. He goes with Layla. See, I love you it. Know? So I love he's right it. There with her and that's why I was so like, yeah, cute. if I see my boys running to me and not going to dad to help out, I was like, oh, oh, wait, they they're uh, because they're little and they're yeah. just mommy, mommy, mommy. I mommy, think it's mommy, you know? mommy, no matter what. Look at it! <laughs> Listen, daddy can be laying sitting right here. Oh, that's, that's true. Tell me to go that's get true. something. That's yeah, true. Yeah. And we can't figure that out. Well, but, I breastfed for two years. Oh, so I that might have been it. I too. breastfed too. So that yeah, so that might be it because that attachment that bond, like she still just wants to lay on. She'll move my shirt and just lay there. I'd be like, oh my Oh god. my gosh. <laughs> like what have I created? Yeah. My mom's like, there are those little monsters. And yeah. then or the hip babies are coming. <laughs> Yeah, that, I'm, I'm like, like that. stop, because That's when they true. realize what you're saying, yeah. <laughs> kids will be no, like, Layla ah. runs the house for sure. The baby, my oldest, of course, she's older now, so, you know, it's a different type of, you know, connection. It's not like we're holding on to yeah. each other the whole time, because, but the Layla, mm, I'm, well, she's a hit baby. I'm going to just Aww. claim it. I'm is that the, baby it, but her, is like, that crazy. it? Or more babies coming? Uh, I'm okay if I don't have any more. Listen, okay. it takes a lot to keep this body back right afterwards. 
Chi Chi. Pregnancy is hard. It is. This last pregnancy was rough. Thirty-one it's hours hard. of labor. It is. It, maybe if I could just skip that part. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, how, are Wait, it? how are you gonna and, skip it? How are you gonna skip it? You know, it? if I could guarantee I was gonna have a boy this time, I might consider it. But if I have another girl, which I love my girls, don't get me wrong. She's sick. What but boy? then you want to feel like you boys. have the right. So if you had another I boy, you would love it. to have a girl this time. No, no, no. no you don't want no. a girl at all. Girls I've always so wanted. Cute. Like my dream was four boys. Oh, mm. I like the protection. Boys? Oh, that's sweet. Cause they are amazing. Yeah, they always say the boys love her Ooh, mom is like unreal. My husband's I love a mother, it. A, a, a mom's boy. He's the only child too. Oh, see, yeah. uh, he's a, on a whole no level. Some battles we have come through. <laughs> <laughs> Won't God do it? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he? That's when that song needs to play. Uh, what is it? Won't he do it? He said he would. Yes. That's, that's when that needs to play. <laughs> so okay, we have fitness, mm -hmm. family. Relationship. Okay. Relationship at the end. At the okay. end. Okay. Wait. 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 Okay. At the end. What made you say to yourself, "Hey, you know what? I go work out with my girlfriends, but I want this to be a lifestyle." Because people get confused. Mm -hmm. Do you you realize as this fitness guru? I'm gonna keep saying it. Uh -huh. As this fitness guru, that people. Go in the gym and then they say, well, no, no, no. I just, I need to get off this weight and then I'm good. Mm. But it's supposed to be a lifestyle. lifestyle. Yeah, that doesn't work. I mean, don't get me wrong. You can have a quick fix like anything, but you'll mm -hmm. go right back to your natural habits. And that's why with my total body 21, mm -hmm. you know, I say it takes 21 days to break a habit. And that's where I got 21 from. So I'm trying to create a, a platform for you to want to change your lifestyle and break those bad mm -hmm. habits mm -hmm. because that's what it's about. Um, and everybody's different. Men and women are different. I'm going to use my husband Fair. myself, for example. Cause I like to talk personal. So I, um, there was a time I could eat whatever I wanted that has changed after kids and after you hit thirties and I'll just leave that there. At the so, highway 35, listen, it's down here. Everything changes. So now if I eat something bad, it sticks to me. Like I have to work double time. Like, like it's no joke, like every single time. So I have okay. to eat healthier more than I can ever eat bad. Right. But my husband, on the other hand, He's a man, and there's some resentment here. I'm working on it. God help me. Uh, he can eat cupcakes and ice cream almost every day. Exactly. And then oh, detox for two days and has be ripped back to abs. He cannot, He can eat bad all winter long. And then, okay, you know, everyone gets excited around that new year, new you. Let me get my body back right. He'll do it two months. He's back solid and fine all summer long. Really? Well, I have to do it, like, all the time. Like, I, I work to keep out it up. four weeks. Women don't realize period. that, though. They yeah. don't, and then what they do is they just eat, 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 and don't think it through. No. Mm -mm. Because I'm mm -mm. sitting, I look at my body, and I'm like, huh. And people are like, well, you're, you're small. I was like, yeah, I'm small, but I'm not toned. Yeah, there's a difference. There's a difference of being slim and being um, defined. You being know, me from a, three years ago. Right, there's a difference being having cut up. I'm not talking about being all, you know, cut And define it's to me it was worse like growing up or being slim and then having the cellulite or the loose stuff because mm -hmm. i'm like you think you're slim so you don't have to do anything or you don't have to watch what you eat what or you if do? you're slim you don't want to go to the gym because you think it's going to make you skinny no when i was slimmer i went to the gym to help build my curves and enhance them and make mm -hmm. them better so that i wasn't just slim but then after the second baby, I gained a lot of weight. So that's what made me start my meal prep business at the time because I had to learn that eating right was super, 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 super important. There's no way around it. Abs are made in the kitchen. <laughs> they are. Abs are made in the kitchen. Now but I, I mean, have to work to keep it down and right. But what I have extra right now is just keeping my abs warm. Um... <laughs> Let the sun stay warm. One man's hot. <laughs> <laughs> the extra, the extra little oomph is keeping, it's keeping them warm. Keeping them, keeping them protected. Gotta, Don't come out. Don't gotta, gotta protect them, you <laughs> yeah. know. It's not a lot to chisel away, but I'm right. going to do some chiseling. Right. That's okay. it. Okay. As soon as these ribs get right. And that's what I was 
I when I sit didn't I yes yeah, I, I went ahead and sent that message because yeah. literally once my ribs are up and they're good and mm -hmm. I can move more yeah literally I am I totalbody21.com right that's it boom y'all better get with it go get it round two has just dropped so that one's really good for all the I was looking girlies. at the ladies on your that's Instagram it. and that was from round one. So round, round one is a really a lot of like losing that weight, shedding all that bad weight. If you have any bad weight you want to lose, do that. It's going to help tighten and tone at the same time. But round two, we'll do a lot of that too, but it's it's a more of um, tightening and toning. So it's a lot of resistant band works. So it's, oh, I love resistant band workouts. Oh, oh they're I've so been good. I've doing all of that they with my They are so freaking good. They can enhance everything. I mean, no, because it really you love people. me because you want me to be healthy. Yes. You want me to live right. You want me to understand that, like I'm telling you guys, once you hit Highway 35, okay, here's the deal. I'm on Highway 37. <laughs> <laughs> once I got on Highway 35, I was like, oh, look at this. <laughs> um, and then at Highway 37. Well, you don't look a day when it's 23. She's so, like, oh, goodness. my. Yes. <laughs> Not I'm with all. you. You're 22, right? <laughs> yep. Yeah. See? I'm right. <laughs> 22 today. Looking gorgeous. <laughs> I am I'm I'm what I always tell people when they come in they're like, "How old are you?" I'm like, "I'm 21 plus 16." That's it. <laughs> 21 plus 16 years after. But well, we got to okay? be honest with ourselves, ladies. When you look good, you feel good. Yeah. And, and when I work out, that's dress, how I used to feel. And you feeling yourself you love you love it let's be real though can we go there go ahead so she really means when you put on that dress without them extra things that you put up under oh. that dress what without she is telling you is girls. put on the dress with the total body 21 your right? total body 21 yes not the total what somebody made in the manufactured <laughs> thing not the, not the, total not the one where them. you put it on and your man's like, oh, baby, that dress is hot. And he hasn't seen you. And then the end of the night, y'all coming home. And then he's like, oh, you've been working out. And then you go, and then it goes, hey, hi, what's up? You know, watch this. Hey, hi, what's up? That's that right there. That's that. Okay? That's what she, she not meaning that, right? Right, no, uh-uh, that's not what Explain I mean. Explain to the people what you really mean. You know, I'm talking about when you take that off, when you want to turn the lights on. Cause you feel good, okay? Like lights like this? You don't want it right. Right. Look, look. <laughs> you don't want to look back at your old picture and be like, oh, I used to be fine. I used to look like that. It don't matter what age you are. You can still be just as fine. Oh, my gosh. Right now. You just have to make the choice. You just have to decide that you want to be, you want to look good more than you want to taste that good cupcake. <laughs> Those cupcakes are yummy. They are really good, though. Uh, but you can still eat stuff like that, just in moderation. Proportion is really important. And after, after those twenty-one days, after those workouts, then have some. You'd be fine. She said twenty-one afterwards. days, it's like three weeks. Not even a whole month. But you gotta keep it up, though. You do. Consistency is key. You have to keep it up. So you do the twenty-one, and which I just said, I was like, okay, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Which, oh, and one thing I want to do, this is on my mind. I have mommy brain on time, so I got to say this now to you. And then we'll jump right back into Total Body 21. So, I want to have my show at the gym. Oh, that would be cool. Can we make that but happen? But what are you going to, what do you mean? Like, what kind of, do, do a like full, a show? full show? Where you just where you just you can work out the entire time if your class wants to or whatever like, a live, like live. Oh, that would be cool. Maybe you can do it for glute camp. Shout out Saturday ten a.m. <laughs> <laughs> and it's ten a.m. and that's when my show is. Oh, that might be. Really you see cool. what yeah, I'm I saying? Ask my partner about it. Can you please make that happen? Well, I think we could. I think we can work that out. She said, "I think we can." All right. Because one way praise, we love going. doing things. <laughs> Thank you.
Pick up the Y'all phone. Y'all keep me accountable. We did. We gonna hold you accountable for that one. Yeah. yeah, we have to Definitely. because people. You. I'm about to be real again. Okay. <laughs> this gonna marinate. Okay. People in the church. Mm-hmm. Let's be honest. Mm-hmm. They have those afternoon services. Mm-hmm. I go right. to the first service though. And they say. <laughs> You know we're gonna be eating in the at, at the at the <laughs> two o'clock. Sunday, we got the after we, Sunday food. We're gonna be eating. And then you go back there and the chicken, fried chicken calling you and it's saying Bread. Chicasta, eat me. And I'm telling you it ain't nothing but Satan himself. And nobody wants to rebuke him. They want him on that no, day. And then when they hear the green beans with the hog mug or whatever they put in them. And you have to learn how to fix these things without all of that. Let me tell you yeah, about my veggies do. last week. My friend was like, ooh, those veggies. That veggie surprise, girl. It was good. What kind of meat did you? No meat. I don't put meat in my veggies. I seasoned it with spices and herbs that God gives us to make you think. It was me, okay? My mom has taught me well. She, My mom doesn't like cooking with meat because she's not a meat eater like that. So, therefore, when you eat my mom's cooking, you just swear she put a turkey leg up in there. You know? You're like, is it? Tur- oh, no, it ain't. You know? And it's, right. it's just is what it is. We have to learn how to use what God has given us mm-hmm. that comes up out of this ground that's just wonderful herbs and a little bit of spices and make your food taste good. It does not take you throwing in the turkey necks, the turkey legs, the and butter, all of this. Any of the but yeah. The stick. Because I've seen somebody lay a stick of butter in. I used to do it in my cooler. In some beans. <laughs> in some beans. Just plop. Yeah. Come on. Let's think about that. That is what I use to cover my abs. <laughs> I think clean eating has got like a bad rap. People assume that it's just, everything is just bland or it's nasty. nasty or it's not good. But there's a lot of really good things you I can do. Like I love like grilled onions and peppers. So mixing Ooh. that up in your meat or your your vegetables is so good. Oh, like there's so many different ways. I love garlic and pepper. Adding that type of stuff, staying away from the salt, it's so good. It's still very flavorful. And, and once again, they have stuff that kind of tastes like butter. No, it might not be <laughs> butter, but nobody ever knows when you guys come to my house and I fix my asparagus and you like, oh, you put butter on this? Yeah. I'm here to tell you now, I really want butter. <laughs> and my garlic and my um lemon juice. But it, it wasn't really butter. And no. I, and nobody, to- they, they know now. I bet they right. won't eat it. Right. Now, everybody's going to be like, I don't want it. But, but you were eating it then. Though, because there's so many diseases out there. It's so much stuff out here that is killing people, that's causing, uh, you know, I just found out that, you know, sugar doesn't cause diabetes. You know, everybody no, always says, sugar causes, that. don't drink all that Kool-Aid cause diabetes. That's not it. No. But this processed food and these meats and this stuff that's out here, man, you got to be careful. And, you know, before, when I first got on this health thing I um you know years ago I didn't think about it as so much for the kids as a you know when you have kids you think they can eat whatever they want they just snack and it's cool mm-hmm. whatever but I've changed all of that what I cook when I eat healthy whether I'm meal prepping for me and my husband you guess what I, they eat the same thing and see that's the thing about my boys they will hold out and the doctor and I had this conversation my boys will hold out into the next day kid you not really? oh and they're good and my mom was like I don't, I don't know you know, and I and she's like, send them to bed. You just send them to bed. If they're not gonna eat what's on the table, send them to bed. You up. know, Layla loves peanut butter and jelly. Okay, we'll see fine. my kids nuts. They but can't. I'll oh they can't have nuts. Mm. Okay, well I but I get the organic one now or the Ezekiel uh, bread, so it's a lot healthier. The whole wheat, I switch it up so it still looks like what you know. Oh, it's good. But she doesn't and really with know. With Nigel, my oldest, you know, um, she's with me now. I think she really follows my lead, so she's getting into want to work out or eat healthy and cool. especially a cheerleader. So that's been a lot easier. Layla, it's not so hard. Well, it can be it can be hard with her because she loves sweets. Yeah, um, I love but, her videos. Thank you, but um, but because she's young and we're starting her off early, it's mm-hmm. gonna make it a little easier. It's transition easier. Her growing and up. see, with the boys, nope, they will fight tooth and nail Man. about eating, and it's not as if they want to eat junk food or anything like that. Because I don't give my kids sodas. For no, those people who always tell me why you should, and I'm like. 
they don't miss what they've never had. Yeah. Well, I've had a Sprite here or there. You know, my but kids don't it. miss it because they, we went to, case in point, took them to the world of Coke. We walk in there and they say, what are they doing, mommy? You know, and I yeah. said, that's called soda. You know, these people standing here looked at my children when they said that because it's loud in there. And yeah, they said, I, I said, like boys, that. that's called soda. And then they were like, it's what? And I said, it's soda. Oh, do we try it? And I said, only at the World of Coke do you try this. So now his teacher, Connor's teacher said that the Somebody's mom brought in um, pizza and all this stuff for a party and a so and soda. And Connor said, oh, no, we don't drink that. We only drink it at the World of Coke. Hmm. So uh -huh. your children only do what you do, what, what you tell them yes to or no. It's yes or no. Connor said we had cupcakes, mommy, that morning. And then somebody's mommy brought in cupcakes that afternoon. And I said, my mommy said, no, you don't eat more than one sweet a day. And Oh, that's good. Layla would have killed that. Look. <laughs> I should have tore that up. And I said, boy. When I'm, and here it is. He could have. Yeah, he could have just. Dum, 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 dum. And when his teacher was like, I don't like you. And she came and she was like, I don't like you. And I was like, what? And she was like, Connor said that his How mommy doesn't. It? Seven? Seven? Oh, that's good. That's Girl. Good. Let's, let's like, God Jesus, bless. please keep him like this, you know, Listen. because clearly, but I can't get him to eat vegetables. I, well, only vegetable he will eat is green beans. Really? Cannot they get him to, oh, and spinach. Broccoli. Let me take that back. Green beans and spinach. That's it. But he won't eat any fruits. He say they taste nasty. He uh -huh. was like, oh, mommy, this awful. Fruit? And he will try. Oh, you I can sit that. it. He will try it. Now, my six-year-old total different kid yeah whatever you put out yeah, oh yeah. i'm gonna eat it oh mommy i'll try it once <laughs> oh mommy right we should try it once because i always say you try it once you just never know right. you know and then he'll try it if he doesn't like he said no not my taste you know <laughs> but other than that he will try it but i can't get my seven-year-old to eat and when i tell you they wait it out i mean it so i don't know what to do yeah that's a tough one lost for words they'll wait for that breakfast you're laughing. I'm serious. Wow. They will wait for oatmeal or it, they, they have a, Dylan, he's a full breakfast eater. Like, Little mommy, can I get some eggs? Pancakes. Can I get some grits? Can I get, he has a list and everybody's like, well, I'm like, yeah, I cook breakfast for Dylan because Connor, he's not going to eat it. Wow. No, Layla loves breakfast. Um, She loves like pancakes and oatmeal. I wish. Like Connor will do the oatmeal and Special K is his favorite cereal. Oh, wow. Once again, if they don't know about anything else, <laughs> they don't ask for it. This is true. They don't. So I don't know. I'm like one mama to another. Girl, like, what are you, what am I going to do? I don't know. That's a tough one. I mean, with especially with boys, too. Maybe have daddy put on that mean, that, that loud voice that, hey. That, hey. Would, that would be me. Hey. Once again. Oh, dang. <laughs> she said. A new one. <laughs> and that would be me saying it because they're no they would just be like well what does mommy think like right, it's always yeah. so with that and i'm just See, like I'm a uh -uh. One as well uh rod is so soft i mean that's with the girls too <laughs> when it comes to layla i'll be like no you can't have that okay i'm going to my daddy and she'll go right over there. I'm like, she gets you every time. Even when he tries to act like he's being tough but hard for her, it comes off so phony. Really? I was like, come so on. So he's like, you go and sit down like your mama said. Shh, 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 shh. You can come over here. Yeah, sit down. <laughs> That's it. All the that's way. the dad. That is dad all the way. Aw, but I like it because then salty. that's daddy girls. That's yes, the, the girls. You know? Yeah. And then you kind of want it, but then... When they get older, I'm here to tell you, mm. Mr. Gardner, it's going to change. Mm, mm, mm. When they get older, he's oh, yeah, going to be like. Oh, yeah, because my oldest is going to be 13 next month. And, um, oh, she's smelling she's herself. Asked she's in seventh a grade. Co ed party. So that was a tough one. So, what are we doing? Are we going um, to have see, it? See, we, we talked about it, and I believe in having one because I think it's important to know because she's in school, she's mm -hmm. in activities, she's in church activities, she's around boys. Mm -hmm. So, I think it's important for us to know those boys and who is around or who's in her circle and how she acts in front of them. You know, I just uh, think it's important to know that for ourselves and not pretend like it's not happening because it is. It is. So, what are we going to do, mommy? So, the party's going to be at the house. So, it's going to be very well um watched <laughs> oh my gosh are Guarded. you gonna chronicle this 
Yes, definitely. So I'll get to see it. Yes, definitely. (laughs) We're having a movie party, so um, we'll probably do. uh, We have. We just bought a new house, and our mm-hmm. backyard is huge, and we haven't started landscaping back there yet. Okay. So I want to do, like, the big movie on the screen outside. Nice. And let them have their, like, little outside party with the s'mores and their popcorn and all that type of sit up. Wait, wait a minute. I want to come to the party with the baby. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> she don't want the little kids there. I have to put Layla somewhere. But yeah, so it'll be cool, a little 13, you know. That's a good milestone for her. Yeah, that's a big number. That's Ooh. officially a teenager. I teach 13 year olds. Oh, gosh. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know. so I know, yeah. yes. And then young girls, especially at that age, I think it's really important to just, I mean, really dig into them because mm-hmm. there's that's their when they're searching for their identity mm-hmm. like who am i especially there it's petty at school you got the little you really know, drama petty. starting and then here comes high school which it only gets worse and harder and oh goodness it's all right mom Ooh, breathe one that deep breath was good it's just rougher the emotions oh. are high in this house <laughs> we'll see at good, least though. You're not going to be like my friend. She has three girls. And I was like, ooh, all of you guys on a cycle? Oof. That's how it was in my house. I had three sisters and all of us. Oh. And it, and it, <laughs> and you don't even, you don't realize it. Like when my students are snappy, I'm like, oh, okay, got it. Mm. Mm, okay. <laughs> Hold you know, it. <laughs> you know, because you know, you knew, oh, she's so sweet. The sweetest thing. And then one day, and it's like, whoa. Whoa. Okay, got it. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you know then, because with the girls, ooh, but you got it made, I promise. Yeah. Do I? Mm-hmm. Because I think you do with the boys. No, I, oh, definitely have an older one. <laughs> like, so all of these. Are, one, so, yeah, but I hard. like the boy thing. Yeah. You know? That's why you didn't want girls, because mm-hmm. you had a little sister to raise. I don't, I don't want <laughs> girls. And if I ever had a girl, I would still be happy. You of know course, what I mean? Of course. And I'd probably name Richard Costa. Oh. I thought about naming one of my kids after me, but, but these they must kids. have been named so much. I was like, let me just go. And I'm still like, okay, am I saying it right you now? You are. You're doing good. But me and Layla. Oh, you were you were making God's creation. Him and you and God were working so hard and that's diligent it, at that baby, it. you know? <laughs> Now, total body twenty. Wait, total yeah, body total body twenty one dot com dot com, and that's where everybody needs to go. That's go right now. And I need to do that right now. Definitely, and you can do everything at home. You don't have to go to the gym. You don't have to do anything. You can do everything. And at home. I don't know about posting though. I'll send you a pic. Yeah, you can send me like uh, even with a lot of my transformation people with nothing that looks like. I cut Ever. everyone's face off, so no one knows who you are. Cut my arm, cut everything. <laughs> I mean, unless you have a tattoo you know, that says your name on it. I don't know. Right now. <laughs> no, yeah. Okay, I can do it before. Yes, you have to. But you know what? Even, and I tell people this all the time, whether you do the before and after pictures for me, which I greatly appreciate because it just helps me prove and show people that, that you are, what you're real, saying is real. That it does work. And you're not fake. Uh, right. Um, but. It helps you along the way as well because sometimes the scale can be, you know, deceiving. So mm-hmm. it's not always about the pounds sometimes, but the way your body is changing. So if you can look at the picture of where you started mm-hmm. and see, watch yourself as it goes, it inspires you and motivates you to go even harder. Because when you start seeing results, that's when you yeah. really start pushing because you're like, okay. And see, working. it's not even the pounds. Like, I am I guess I'm, like, cool with it because I weigh 132. Oh, so so right that doesn't – the weight is not – it right it's the, the toning, toning for me mm-hmm. and i really need it to because when i was one okay so before i had connor i was 110 i only got up to 115 what? so yes with connor remember he's picky now so i really wasn't eating like and then she was like oh it was a it was a hotness okay with connor wow she told me i needed to eat more protein she felt like the baby wasn't gonna grow well like so at the last i was like eating burgers she was like can you please go get milkshakes can you do this and i just was trying to put in so much but i couldn't i didn't want it like that Mm -hmm. i just wanted like seafood and veggies and then i started not really wanting the seafood and i just wanted veggies but with dylan everything Ooh. Lord. 
I want it steak. Like yeah, I just was wanting crazy. it, you know. And so yeah, with Dylan, it was like wow. And then I was getting steroid shots because mm-hmm. I had the rough pregnancy. So it, I just gained a lot with Dylan. So it was payback. So yeah, I was yeah. big. Yeah. Well, I mean, I yeah, I was big. So what did I you was get pretty to? big. How with much did you get? Dylan. To? Was I 140? Yeah, from 110 to one. Well, that's about average. You're supposed to gain. You know, I, I think I might have been, but she was like, okay, this is too much. I know with the first one, you right, know. Right. And, but my nurse, um, because I was on vet rest, who came every week, she was like, why is she keep complaining about you gaining too much? She was like, it's the shot that I'm giving you. I am telling you, you know. Mm-hmm. And so she was like, it's not about that. It's yeah. about the shot. And I said, well, I'm eating more than I was with the first one. And she was like, nope, it's the shot. Yeah. And But then again, after like after Connor, I was like, there was no belly. Like my doctor was like, oh, my gosh, you Oh, you make me right. sick. You know, and then after Dylan, the same thing. And there's still not a belly but something is hot in the ass right that's all that's all but yeah that round two is perfect for that round two really give it 21 days i promise you're gonna be like what in 21 days is not that long if you commit to doing it those 21 days i bet you'll see some cuts really I guarantee it. it is that good you just so, have to stick to it and it only takes and this was sent day. look look let me ask my sister because i know the court the answer this was sent from god wasn't it always Everything. I pray on everything I do. I pray before I got here with the words that I say. Yes. 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 <laughs> I love it. Guys, we're going to take a quick break and we're going to come back with more from Chi Chi because Yay. I am, girl, I'm full of it right now because I just want, I, you make me feel like I can do it. You can. Oh, Lord. I gonna... swear you can. She just, said yeah, I can. Yeah, it's all mental. It's mental. You can do it. You just have to make, make up your mind. Okay. That's it. Well, we're going to take a break while I'm making up my mind. (laughs) Guys, you're listening to That's What's Up with Jocasta on 108 Praise Radio, where we're always voicing the gospel, the gospel of God. We'll be right back. Just when you thought things couldn't get any worse. From almost losing my life in a devastating car accident, to now, being diagnosed with chronic kidney failure. The devil's a trip. (laughs) But the God that I serve, between the grace, the mercy, and the love he has for me, I always come out on top. Agape love. Ah, uh, I done been around the world, met so many faces in so many places. Ah, uh, can't nobody else replace you. The way you pour your love out, it's so amazing. I can't imagine life without you. My life wouldn't even be the same, I wouldn't have a clue. My heart is like a bomb shelter when you're not there. But when you are, I walk a life without fear. Hanging on to your every word like a child, trying to walk in your steps. Every mile, sometimes I fall, but you always there to pick me up. Always know just what to do to keep me lifted up. You point me to the right words for encouragement. And when I'm weak, your same words nourish me. Uh, you're the reason for my success. 
You're the reason everybody say I'm blessed My life is full of your blessings, an overflowing cup I know the little things I do, Lord, ain't enough That's why I dedicate my life to showing others Your mercy, your grace, and your love for us uh, Cause can't nobody, can't nobody Can't nobody else love me the way you do Can't nobody, can't nobody know Can't nobody else love me the way you do. I done been around the globe, been there so many faces In so many places, but can't nobody love me like you Cause can't nobody, can't nobody Can't nobody, can't nobody You got the type of love that breaks all pedestals Your love is so beautiful And I'ma do what I can and let the world know How many people got a lot of friends uh, They say they with you to the very end Yeah, same friends say they'll ride for you Same friends say they'll always be there for you Question is, will they ever die for you? Will they ever lay their life on the line for you? I know somebody that did that And he never let me down and kept his promises and now my dreams are reality I'm walking through doors freely I couldn't have done it on my own, you complete me I'm forever indebted to you completely My life is full of your blessings, I overflow and cup I know the little things I do, Lord, ain't enough That's why I dedicate my life to showing others Your mercy, your grace, and your love for us uh, Cause can't nobody, can't nobody Can't nobody else love me the way you do Can't nobody, can't nobody know Can't nobody else love me the way To my Lord, you know I keep my soul, and I walk by faith and not by sight. I got where it takes to win a fight. I've been through the storm and the pain. The devil thought he won, that's a shame. I got victory in Jesus' name. I got victory in Jesus' name. I'm on a mission for Christ. I'm representing for Christ. Yeah, yeah. I am a witness for Christ, so I'ma keep living for Christ. Yeah, yeah. I'm moving forward. I ain't looking back. I let go of the past and I pick up the slack. They wanted the truth, so I'm giving them facts, and it really don't get no really than that. I am living proof of what God can do when you trust in Him. And when everything starts falling down, I look up to Him. In the world surrounded by evil, the devil is leading my people astray. So I pray that my people take heed when I speak, cause I really have something to say. Do you know for sure that you would go to heaven if it was time for you to go away? Do you really believe that Jesus died on the cross, was buried and rose on the third day? If you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth, then congratulations on being saved. But if you still play games, then you better get right with Christ before it gets too late. I'm on a mission for Christ, I'm representing for Christ I am Positive vibes only, I ride with that Bible and I keep it on I do I'm on a mission for Christ, I'm representing for Christ Jesus Christ Positive vibes only, I had to stop it, they got for the moment Hey, hey. Mission for Christ, mission for Christ I'm on a mission for Christ, I'm representing for Christ Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mission for Christ, mission for Christ I am a witness for Christ, so I'm to keep living for Christ Positive vibes only, I ride with my Bible and I keep it on me I had to stop and thank God for the moment Cause he did not have to wake me up this morning I'm counting my blessings and hoping that I can deliver this message Do you have reception? I feel the presence of the Lord manifesting Where is heaven? I'm headed in that direction Following Jesus, no need to complain, this is all for a reason I had to be patient and wait for my season I set the trends, I don't play, follow the leader Preaching that road like a preacher Cause I'm trying to reach out my people and let them know Don't be present, just let it go I am blessed from my head to toe I got God with me everywhere I go tell him bro, no nigga in this vicinity, we only feeding off of righteous energy Put your hands up if you feeling me You can achieve anything if you just believe Don't give up on your dreams, I promise it's worth it That's why I'm constantly working My conscience was lurking for innocence I was guilty of many sins Then I remember who died for them He says, and I do not condemn I need you to be confident Now don't go in this world and try to do the opposite You just be true and stay positive And watch how we maneuver through obstacles We came to overcome, keeping faith in the Holy One And if we are the only ones representing for Christ Then that means we the chosen ones I'm on a mission for Christ, I'm representing for Christ. I am. Positive vibes only. I ride with that Bible and I keep it on. I do. I'm on a mission for Christ. I'm representing for Christ. Jesus Christ. Positive vibes only. I had to stop it. They got for the moment. Hey. hey. Mission for Christ. Mission for Christ. I'm on a mission for Christ. I'm representing for Christ. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Mission for Christ. Mission for Christ. I am a witness for Christ, so I wanna keep living for Christ. Yeah, deal. Hey guys, you are still listening to That's What's Up with Jocasta on 108 Praise Radio, where we're always voicing the gospel. I am so excited, still in awe, to be sitting here to the fit and fabulous Latina. Right and tight with Leticia, better known as Total Body Twenty One. <laughs> Total Body, yes, that was the next one. Total Body Twenty One dot com. Now, not only does she know how to tell you about your body, okay, <laughs> she also is good with oh my gosh enriching you with her relationship mm. telling you how things should go <laughs> how they have went how they will rise to the occasion if you have gone yes yes so that's what i want to talk about i don't want to get all up in your business <laughs> but i kind of want to leap a little into it i mean it. i'm an open book i love it let's open it look crack it up <laughs> there we go so chi chi you met this wonderful man mm -hmm. he swept you off your feet quick uh-oh <laughs> she said quick <laughs> what does quick mean let's say that i mean you know um i'm the type of person that um it takes a while for me to warm up to a guy like i have to I have to, like, get to know you for a while before I consider even going out on a date with you. Like, I wouldn't just go out with, like, random people I just met or didn't mm -hmm. just vibe like that. I was always really kind of guarded anyways. But with him, I seen him before he seen me. Really? Yes, and in my mind, it just said trouble. Uh-uh, trouble. But, but you I, wanted like, that I, trouble. My girlfriend was sitting next to me, and you I was like, watch. Trouble. He's going to be mine. I was like, you watch. That I claimed it early. She wanted <laughs> That's that little voice that was in your head. That was it. Get it. I was like, I was like who it. is that? So where did you meet him? I th when I first saw him, he was in a bowling alley. Like I said, I was out with a bunch of other people. He didn't even see me. He never even saw me that time. Um, but then I was out um, a couple of weeks later in um, at a club in Atlanta, and he was there. And the first night, it was funny because he was like all Rico Suave with it. Um, somebody was like, oh, this is so-and-so. And I was like, uh-huh. And he had just kind of leaned back on the wall. He was like, how are you? I was just like, boy, please. And Lean I had back. left. So um, I walked away. But then we were outside of the waiting for valet. Mm -hmm. And he was leaning against his car. And I was sitting there waiting for valet with my girlfriend. And he was like, you know, come over here. Come over here. I'm a good catch. And I was like, I'm not getting up. You need to come to me. So, but before he said, "Come over here," I'm a good. Catch. That's what he said, and for the longest, that was his nickname, the catch, is what I called him. Don't but, we give um, him nicknames? Listen, right. <laughs> But um, but before he could approach me or whatever, there's a whole bunch of little groupy girls coming on out, screaming his name, and they surrounded him. Oh, wait, so you didn't know who he was? No, uh-uh. Mm -mm. Well, he, like was, he, had just, he had just got finished playing football at the time. Okay. I mean, he didn't okay. look like a football player. It looks... I mean, he's built nice. Anyways. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, so he was leaning against the car. The girls that came out, they surrounded him. So I just laughed, and I got in my car, and I left. And then the next night, we seen each other again, and he, uh, which is crazy, right? So then he passed me. Well, I was going to pass him, like walking past him on purpose. And, oh, wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so you did the walk by, girl. Yeah, oh, whatever. Yeah, 
So you wanted him to say, hey, excuse me? Or, I mean, I was walking by anyways. Okay, <laughs> he was check for me anyways. Ooh, I already knew I that. I love it. Okay, so. Confident. Always, but so, but he, um, but then he grabbed me and he was like, "If you walk past me one more time without, you know, us exchanging information," I was like, "All right." But we ended up talking the rest of the night, and um, he had actually rolled there with a friend, mm -hmm. and he was like, "So at the end of the night, he's like, oh, my friend left. Could you give me a ride home?'" Right, trying to be slick. Right? How so, dare he? So I was like, "Okay, but cool. you gave him that ride, didn't I you?" Gave him that ride. <laughs> I pulled her right up to his condo and let him share the door. He was like, "Well, you're not gonna come up?" I said, "No." So he was used to that, those kind ah, of girls. And I was like, no, have a good night. And dropped him behind off right there. That was it. <laughs> then he asked me on an official date. Ooh, egg, on the, on, egg on the face. Egg on the face. Yes. <laughs> See, ladies, you have to do the drop off. Off. Not the off. come through, come to, and stay. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. no. What did this woman just tell you she did? Dropped, dropped him off. off. And he'll tell you. Okay, right I don't like, care hey, who he is. Mm -mm. I don't care what you look like. Unless he Jesus. That's it. You go, go in. Jesus. Go with Jesus. And get saved, set free, and delivered. <laughs> <laughs> Let him heal you. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> but, yeah, so then he asked me out on an official date. And um, we I think it was a Tuesday that day. And then we ended up going out officially on Friday. And we just been stuck like glue ever since. Stuff like glitter. Yes, like crazy goo-eyed, like it. unreal. I couldn't even control it, kind of. And I tried to, and I couldn't. Are you still him. like that? I mean, he's. I'm very territorial, you know. I Ooh, think, though. I like it. But, you know, after years, I'm be honest, you know, it's not the butterfly effect anymore. I think mm -hmm. you go through, um, we went through this marriage counseling, that you go through the, um, the, the ideal, the ordeal, and the real deal stage. And the ideal is when everything is so, like, oh. Uh, you know, bubbly. the butterflies, bubbly, everything mm -hmm. is like whatever. Then the ore deals when you've been together for a while and now you're kind of in yourself now. Like, well, I deserve this and I want this and he wants what he wants. But then we reach this real deal. And that's what real love is, where you accept each other exactly where you are and you're just always just trying to serve, outserve each other and you're just there. And that's where the love is. So it's not necessarily the butterflies, but it's the real thing. You said outserve each other. I know we're talking about relationships. I'm going to say for a little bit of 30 seconds. I see people look and then they'll say, you see, oh, you're feeding the homeless. Are you doing this, that, and the other? And I go, yes. Outserve me. You just literally said you and your husband try to out oh stop Jesus uh -huh. try to outserve each other yeah and that's a true relationship when I said I wanted her to talk about relationships I'm gonna let her talk about her husband and I'm gonna let her tell you all everything about that relationship I'm gonna also allow her to say about a friendship I just I mean relationships in general we should try to outserve the other mm -hmm. because what did God call us to be servants she drops the mic. Let's pretend. <laughs> We're not here for ourselves. You know? So, oh, God. Yeah, I'm That's big on good. that. Because I, I feel like the world teaches you to be happy, but the word teaches you to be holy. Mm. So it's important that uh, I think relationships and marriages, people get so caught up in what, what the other person's supposed to do for them. Or, mm -hmm. you know, oh, I'm, I look like this and I do this. Well, this is what it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. But just because I can cook and clean and still look good, that still may not be what he considers love. Because That's we right. all have different love languages. languages. So you have to find that for each other and constantly serve that for each other. And now you guys have reached the real deal mm -hmm. and the real deal still consists of me being romantic mm -hmm. me loving my husband mm -hmm. me loving him love my children mm -hmm. So tell yeah. them how. What's the real deal like? I mean, the real deal is is it's awesome. You know why? Because you reach a place of peace. You know, mm. it's not a fight. It's not a competition, you mm -hmm. know? And I don't want you to get that confused when it comes to outside terms of competition, who does what better. It's really about just loving that person exactly in the skin they're in, accepting where they're at, and striving to mm -hmm. understand them more and more and not trying to change them. 
You know, not trying to mold and change them into who you want them to be, but pray for them to be who God called them to be. Say and it again. Works. Chi Chi, tell them again because <laughs> somebody right now, they're listening to us, they're watching, and they're trying to change. Somebody. Yeah. No, you can't change a man. And I wrote that in my post last night. Listen, change your mind. That's a better plan. Mm. You can't change a man. Um, you can't change anyone. You know, that person has to want to change. Mm -hmm. You know, and my, my husband and I have both done so much growing and so much changing. When we first got together, we were very worldly. Okay. Very worldly word. Just we knew God, but we didn't follow God. We had a relationship with. Well, mm -hmm. we 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 knew He was. You we were believers. Prayed. We were believers. We weren't disciples, and there's a huge mm, difference. difference. You know what I mean? But when we got into church, we changed everything from the people we're around to the places that we go. You know oh, what I mean? I love it. It, it. You change it, but when when you really get to know God, we got baptized together. You know. Um, it changes everything. It mm -hmm. convicts you to the things that you used to do. You look at like, oh Lord. I'm glad social media wasn't out then. <laughs> or whatever, like you were almost like embarrassed. Or, or you know, you're almost mm -hmm. like, I can't believe I used to do that. I can't believe mm -hmm. I used to think that was okay. That's what God does to you when He changes you, like He reveals you into what He wants for you. And it's amazing. Like, it's amazing. God's so. grace and His way. Uh, and I, I don't even know how people get married or, or can stay married without having that foundation. I don't know. How ah. do it. I don't honestly don't know because because you know, they do it on their own, not with God. Yeah, I don't. I don't even know because let me tell you something. Marriage is not easy. Don't get it twisted. We mm -hmm. have a, the real deal is amazing stage. It's love, but he's still getting on my nerve all the time. <laughs> I still don't like it sometimes. I just want to be like, oh, don't get me wrong. Marriage is hard work. You know, guys in a family, things get caught up. You know, work and activities, and you know, still, you know, being who we are and growing every day. There's phases to who we are. I'm not mm -hmm. the same person I was. I wasn't not that 23 year old girl that he met anymore. You know, so uh. you really grow. But having someone. That is willing to have your back no matter what and through it all. It's worth amazing. Fighting for. I love it. She said it's worth fighting for. The good fight. So let's talk about one fight, meaning what you had to fight for in your marriage that got you to the point where you said, you know what? No, this is worth fighting for. You know what? Um, for me, like forgiveness was a huge thing. See, I didn't know gotcha. how to do it. And growing up, I always thought it was something that it was weak. You know, it was like, if I forgive you, that means you can do it again. Like, I had that attitude for so long. And okay. it was hard for me, even being married and getting in with God. It was hard for me. It was hard for me to fully give that trust to God mm -hmm. because I was so dependent on myself and thought I could handle it. But it weighs down on you so, so much, much that when you really just get to a place where you submit it all to Christ, mm -hmm. it changes everything. The light, oh, the the... the the low that you feel like you had, it, it disappears. And I, you know, we were going through it up and down a lot in my marriage for a while because there was a lot of things as I was changing. I was like, I can't believe I stayed during this. I can't believe I, you know, I put up with that. And, you know, I was letting it, you know, things that happened when we were dating, I was letting it fall into our marriage because that unforgiveness that I was dealing with, uh. I couldn't let it go. But, you know, um, we go into because marriage counseling in church, but sometimes it's so hard to let mm -hmm. go because you feel like that's the only way you're protecting yourself. Like, nope, I'm not going to let it go because I'm not going to let you think that it's going to happen again. I'm going to remind you over and over. Like, it was, it was bad, yeah. but it was something I did. But one day I had to just wake up and look him in his face and say, I forgive you. And I trust God. And I trust God's truth more than my own feelings. I tell myself that every day. Ah! Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I do. I tell myself that every day because the devil creeps up in your mind. He will bring up certain things, trigger certain things to, to make you think about the bad or the past or an <sighs> argument. And I have to remind myself always, I trust God. I trust his truth over my own feelings. Because feelings can be deceiving. Yeah. Yeah. And that's something I just feel like you have to practice every day in a marriage to keep fighting that good fight. Wow. Because it's easy to walk away. It's easy to say, that's it. I'm done. I ain't dealing with it. Next. I'm not happy. You know, it's easy. People do that every day. But to stay and fight and forgive, mm -hmm. I realize that's real strength. So to stay and fight is strength. Yeah. To run away is weakness. That's how it's changed my mind. Like, if I can say, okay, I don't want to do this mm -hmm. because I'm mad. I'm going to hold on to this past. But if you do, it's just going to go on to the next one until you actually deal with it. You have to clean yourself up before. You do. Even if you decide, oh, this is it. I'm done with it. If you never 
changed who you were mm -hmm. in that past relationship. You're just taking it to the next relationship. Yeah, because a lot of the stuff that you deal with is stuff that happened way before um, you got into this marriage. That, yeah. You know what I mean? That's why certain, you know, I had a lot of anger and a lot of resentment that I had within me that I had swept under the rug for so long from childhood, you know, and uh -huh. that I had left there. But, you know, when we would get into an argument, it may mm -hmm. be something that you think wasn't that serious, but I would blow up and think it was the most, the worst thing ever because, you know, and this is so good. Our um, pastor had told us before, um, we were in a marriage sec um, class and he was like, when I get upset, he told Rod, when, when Chi Chi gets upset and she feels alone in this very moment, mm -hmm. and though you can't understand it, you have to know that she's not this, you know, grown woman, your wife that you're talking to at that moment. It's that 12 year old little girl who's just feeling alone. That's who's reacting. That's who's feeling because that feeling that, that whatever happened is making her feel, mm -hmm. it brings back everything from your child. It brings back every time you ever felt like that one thing and it explodes. Oh, wow. So until you really deal with those things, mm -hmm. you'll never be clean. So I say, take care of yourself spiritually, mentally, physically. That helps too, but take mm -hmm. care of you. That way, when it's time to get to that real deal, it can. You'll, it's all at peace. Nobody can push any triggers or buttons because mm -hmm. a lot of times in a relationship, your spouse or your partner, they know your buttons. And they'll push them. And it'd be testing you sometimes. It'd be hard. <laughs> so it's important, you know, to to take care of you. So that way those triggers don't work. Take care of you. Yeah. And that's a lot of times people don't. They don't take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. And then it leads to hurt people hurt people. That's it. That's the real thing. When everybody hears that and they're like, oh, everybody says that. I'm like, well, it's true. It's so true. It's so true. You have to, you know what? I think self-reflection is so huge. Okay. A lot of times people don't like to look at them, their selves. They don't like to know it's ugly. that, okay, maybe I could have did that differently. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe it is me. Okay, you know, just ask yourself why. Why did I do that? Like, why does it really bother me? Mm -hmm. Be surprised if you just take that time to self-reflect on you. I know me. I had to realize I really do got a lot of stuff I was holding on to. I was angry. I used to get into fights growing up all the time. It was crazy. Uh, I was at, at a jump in a second. Now I look see. at that and be like, oh, my God, I can't believe I was like that. But that's your growing. You yeah. had to grow. And I never... Rec like, I don't regret my past because I'm always like, why? Because why did I do it in the first place? Mm -hmm. You know? And I've always been that way where people say, I regret everything I ever done. And I'm yeah. like, no. I mean, there's some things I'm going to take to the grave. I always, but... <laughs> she said, I'm going to take it to the grave. Yeah, I mean, of course. Right. <laughs> but literally, I just don't. I don't right. regret it because if I didn't, well, while I was in it, I was enjoying it. Yeah. It's just that I, the other side of me now I enjoy that better. Yeah. I like the Jocasta now, yeah. other than the Jocasta, you know, 10 years ago. Listen, you know, yeah, so. I, t I was telling my girlfriend this actually yesterday. I was laughing. I was like, you want Leticia, who's from Gwinnett now. You don't want Chi-Chi from Jersey. Because <laughs> she was different. Yeah. She was upset and she was angry and she was quick to, to jump, you know? Now I'm just calmer and I'm not angry anymore. See? I'm not hurt anymore. I used to be I'm angry all the time. Peace. And I remember... When my friends would say, oh, don't do that because she's going to. And I'd be like, oh, my God. Who was yeah, that? I know. I and that too. it was like, so I'm horrible. Like, really? Really? Me? It was. Oh. And I, I mean, I don't fault anybody. Like, I don't sit around and be like, it was my dad. You know? Yeah. I know what I went through. I know that it had a huge impact on me. Mm -hmm. I realized that I was angry for a long time. Yeah. And I just... I'm happy where I am now. Yeah. And I mean, but to say, you know, if you mess with my children, oh, yeah, I'm a, well, I'll go talk to Jocasta. Hey, girl. And she'd be like, I'm back. And yeah, I'd be like, yeah, let's home. get her. Because that, yeah. my kids. Yeah, I'm going to play with my kids or my husband. Like, just stay away from me. You can say whatever you want about me. But Don't come from mine. And I know. And Don't it, come from it, mine. It'll get you. It'll get under your skin. And you'll, whew. But that's yeah, a whole. Listen, like, even with social media. Um, my husband has his page and I have mine or whatever the case may be. We both have access to each other's, but you know, I'll check his all the time and not because like, I feel like I have to check mm -hmm. behind him, but girls will slide in his DM all the time. If you do, I will block you immediately and call it what you want, but insecure this or this. No, you, no woman has no right. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're 83 or 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're a woman, don't be sliding in my man's DM. Because I will block you immediately. There won't be a response. It won't be a question asked. It won't be nothing. You will get blocked. 
So if you're wondering why you can't see his page anymore, it's probably because I caught you sliding in there. <laughs> and even, you know what, it's not even like there's a lot of disrespectful things in there or anything crazy or anyone being like, oh, some of them just might respond to his story. Oh, that was cute or that was nice. It doesn't matter. I'm still going to block it. But him. to me, you could have responded where um, everybody could have seen it. Yeah. Hence the people who are always in mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't respond to you. you know. I don't play about mine. I don't. Mm -mm. I know what I got. Oh, and she got mine. the real deal, <laughs> guys. This, you know what? First, tell everybody again how they can reach you. You can find my Instagram at Leticia Marie Gardner, or you can just look me up straight at my website and buy a plan at totalbody21.com. She said, <laughs> "Ladies and gentlemen, Total Body." 21.com 21.com <laughs> I am going to make sure I make this my habit yes <laughs> so that I can get my life all the way together not only just I'm always on a spiritual journey you can never not grow too much you oh that's yeah. double negative you you yeah. need to make sure that you're always growing you're always progressing spiritually